Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I blend my natural hair with my Her Given Hair clip-ins. I am using heat on my hair. If you do not want to use heat, you can use flexi rods because I use flexi rods to curl my hair. But then I like kind of touched up the front with a wand. You do not have to use heat with this hair. You can use flexi rods. It is going to curl. Just let it sit overnight, wake up in the morning, take them out. And then you have curls very similar to this. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I blend my natural hair with my clip-ins, please stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so before I show you guys how I clip in my clip-ins and blend them with my natural hair, I'm going to co-wash my hair with the Thick and Full Biotin in Collagen Conditioner in the purple bottle. You can get it from Ulta, you can get it from Target or Walmart. I think those are all the stores I've seen it at. Oh, and you can get it from CVS. So yeah so i'm going to co-wash my hair with this conditioner and then i'm going to towel dry it and this is how it looks towel dry it doesn't revert to a curly texture at all it just has some texture to the hair and that's about it now i'm going to be blow drying my hair and i'm brushing my hair out with this paddle brush that i got from target i love this brush it's the best <laughs> so once the clip-ins are all dry this is how it looks it's very full very thick very textured but it's still very soft it's not as soft as my natural hair but it's still really soft and really manageable um you don't really get any snags i didn't really get any shedding at all when i was brushing out or when i was co-washing it if i did get any shedding um, it probably just went down the drain and I didn't notice it. So very minimal shedding when it comes to this hair. Now moving on to how I blend my natural hair with the clip-ins. Okay, so the night before this video, I put these flexi rods in my hair just to put some curls in my hair because I didn't want to use heat on my natural hair. Now you probably can get better curls, but my hair doesn't like to curl and I already know that. It just likes to bend somewhat so yeah okay so now that the flexi rods are out i'm gonna use my fingers to break through my hair and separate the curls so here's a quick length check on my hair i don't really keep up with the length of my hair so i can't really tell you how long my hair has gotten in the past year so yeah now i'm going to be parting the lower section of my hair lining up with my ear and this is where i'm going to place the first set of clip-ins so the first clip-in that i'm going to put in is my 18 inch three clip-in width and if you guys can see I'm placing this clip-in a little bit below my parting because I'm gonna place another clip-in weft on top of that so I don't have to keep parting my hair and now I'm just gonna pull my real hair out of the way because I don't want to put any heat on my hair I'm just putting heat on my clip-ins which is why I flexi rod my hair the night before so it was already curly and so it will blend with clip-ins so this is basically how I perfectly blend my clip-ins with my natural hair now I'm going to take my second 18 inch 3 clip-in width and clip it right above the first clip-in width that I already put down Now for the middle section of my hair, I'm going to part right above my ear and that is where I'm going to place my 16 inch 3 clipping with. Okay, moving on to the top of my head, I parted my hair in a U shape and that's where I'm going to be placing the clip in, basically on the crown of my head. And I'm going to be using my 16 inch 4 clip in width. Okay, so as I already stated before, my clip-ins are from Her Given Hair. So I got two bundles of the Kinky Blown Out 
slip-ins I got one in 16 inch and I have one in 18 inch now I have the 18 inches at the bottom and I have the 16 inch at the top I don't have all of the clip-ins from both bundles in my hair the weight is 100 grams the hair color is natural so I guess this is like a 1b is a little bit lighter than my hair but they still match really really well even though my hair is a little bit softer than the clip-ins I'm glad that I got these clip-ins because my hair matches them perfectly when I do straighten my hair or blow out my hair my hair never stays straight it always tries to puff back out so I needed to get some clip-ins that are puffy so that my hair can match with the clip-ins okay so in the box I got this brochure and I got this little description so this brochure basically tells you what to do with your clip-ins how to make them last longer how to prevent shedding um, how to wash them um, just regular tips it shows you how to seal the wefts and wash them um, just an informational booklet on how to take care of your clippings. Now when it comes down to what's in your box and not mixing and matching, one box, one bundle would be good for a full head. You do not need to get two boxes of the clipping whips. You only need one. The only reason why I have two boxes is because I got an 18 inch and a 16 inch. You don't necessarily need to get two boxes unless... You want to be extra like me. So in one box of the clipping wefts, you get one five clipping weft. You get two four clipping weft. And then you get three three clipping wefts. So in all, you get six clipping wefts, if I'm not mistaken. So make sure you guys check out the description box just in case I'm telling you guys the wrong information in this video. And, you know, just just check the description box okay okay <laughs> um i didn't really use anything in my hair i didn't use any serums or anything like that i just curled it dry you may not want to do that but that's what i did all i did was tuck my hair behind my ears because i didn't like how it was looking it wasn't framing my face right okay so i think that's all i have to say about what i did with my hair so if you guys have any more questions on how i blended or anything about this hair make sure First, make sure you look in my description box because I probably will answer your question in the description box. If it's not in the description box, go ahead and leave a comment and I will try to answer you guys back. And if I do not answer it, it will probably be answered in another video because that's how I like to do things. Because I feel like, you know, somebody will ask the same question and, you know, I can just answer everybody at once. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys like it and I will see you guys in my next one. Said I'd be gone by five, but it's sunrise and I'm still Hi, in your bed.